will bring you miracles, blessings, uh, spouses, children, wealth, good health, name it. Just be optimistic. It's, it's, it's not going to be negativity, but positive vibes all through now till December. So how are you this beautiful Thursday morning? Are you okay? How was the night? Mine was cold because it rained all through yesterday, but thank God I'm here this morning just to make your day beautiful. It's day break and of course Thursday we deal on spiritual issues that affects our lives as humans. Some say the spiritual control the physical. How true that is you will find out. I'm not here I'm here with my apostle on the show. Good morning Friday. Good morning Evie. Yeah. Thank you. Happy so new much. month to you. Ah, same to you. Yeah. Very good. Yes, sir. Because looking up this money and seeing ourselves again, yeah, so sure. to the glory of God. Sure, sure. It's something I believe we need to give thanks to God no matter how it is. Of no course. matter how it is. Some person slept yesterday. Oh, yeah, not up today. But today, we're looking for them. So we need to give thanks to God no matter how it is. Well, I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has stayed close to their television set waiting for this segment. It is the spiritual segment of the program. And on this segment, we inculcate the undiluted word of God into you that will transform your life for good. We tell you the spiritual things, not just we telling you. We have people who are capable of telling you how the spiritual controls the physical. You are, you are so, talking like a pastor. You are beginning to talk like me. I told you, I told you, I said, I am an apostle. Yeah. I love that name, apostle. <laughs> Of which cathedral now, right? Well, I see, you see, God knows I'll try as much as possible to walk towards it. That's the truth. You know, we saw yesterday, and things we were seeing yesterday, you know, they, they were not godly. They were not godly. Uh -huh. At times, at times, even this morning people, before came on air. No, at times, you need to tell people some things, they need to know people like you. <laughs> I think new month to our boss, Frank Alsagi. I hope you are enjoying the honeymoon. Uh, yes, so like the honeymoon. The honeymoon. No, no cause, no message, nothing. Because the honey is really me. And the weather has been so cooperative. Mm. 
That's nice. Oh, I'm all right, we have our guest this morning. Uh, we have uh, two ordained voices of God to look at our issues this morning. Mm -hmm. We have our first uh, guest who is almost a regular, who is regular person, Mrs. Luke Aligbe. Good morning, ma. Good morning. God bless you. Happy New Month. Yeah, thank you. This is the season thank God will crown our year with His goodness. Amen. Amen. It's now in our month. Yes, and so. It's going to be glorious. Amen. <laughs> I have a Solomon Good morning, sir. God bless you. Good morning. Auntie Happy Lee. new month to you. Oh, wonderful month, and we all welcome to the month of glorious things. Amen. Amen. Month of stepping forward. Amen. Month of strength and glory in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming this morning. Thank you for your invitations. Now we're looking at um, this morning dreams, visions, uh, trance. I hear people enter into trance, um, prophecies. And also, when God speaks, I'm sure the same person says that um, whatever happens in the night controls the day. Others say that, I have a friend who said that um, whatever happens in the day, in the night, that is a continuation of what happened during the day. And some also say it's a normal to sleep and see things. It does not matter because they feel it's abstract. You can pin. Quite it, you can't lay hold on them because it's more of an abstract, you know, it not really matter. And um, I've seen people say God spoke to them. In what form did God call you? Well, the part from the Bible who says that he had direct phone numbers of God mm. it went viral. I was wondering, but God gave me the number and also said so, so that you, so that you can, I can call God, you know, God. reach out to him and chat him up to them. But I come more. If they know, we understand. My son, he, he, has, he has followers who believed God, you know, speaks to him directly via WhatsApp or Instagram. So, this morning, we're looking at dreams, visions, trance, prophecies. I'll start with uh, Solomon. Okay. What are dreams, visions, trances, if there is a word like that? And are they similar or they are different from the other? Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, viewers. Once again, happy new month. And uh, until we, good morning, my brother. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. First and foremost, I want to start from this side of the discussion. Whoever that says he has a direct number of God probably could be saying so on the premise that he's talking through the maybe angle of prayer. Mm. Otherwise, outside prayer, that's the only way we talk to God. God doesn't have a telephone number. Because I, oh. the same thing goes for those that say they bring money from heaven. I don't know whether God doesn't bring money in heaven. I think I watched that video where the money fell from the sky. That is, that is witchcraft. That is pure occultic or witchcraft. Or oh, magic. Or oh, magic. magic. That, see, anything witchcraft, I, I don't want to go into the angle, but that anything magical is occultic or witchcraft. However, talking about dreams, uh, visions, trance, prophecies, and God speaking directly, they are all interrelated. But within the confine of time, let me try to enable to bring it down. Dreams are a means of communication. There are different ways we interpret dreams, but however, I will look at dreams from three dimensions. But let's narrow it down to the spiritual. Yeah, sure. Because we look at dreams from the perspective of an ambition, a goal, a prospect. That's on one side. Then we look at dreams again from the angle of too much activities of the day. Oh. According to Ecclesiastes chapter 5 in the midst of the multitude of business or activities, quote, there is a carryover in your sleep. We try to explain that. Then, coming to a dream spiritually proper, I want to announce to you that dream is one of the major ways of God communicating with his children. Again, too, dreams. I say dream is in school. I wrote a book, Your, your Dreams and Your Life. Dreams is not just many seeing. It's a means of communication. I will explain myself. 
In Job 33, verse 14, I like to speak with scriptures. Sure. Bible said, God speaks again and again, even though man perceived it not. Then in verse 15, he said, In dreams, in visions of the night, why man sleep on his bed? God opened his ears and sealed instruction. That means dreams are means by which God gives instruction. Time will fail me. I took it. I took my time to write many things, but I may not be able to explain all of it. Now, that is, he said, one, to turn man from his evil ways. Two, to instruct man and to deliver him from death. Job 33, 14 to 16. Then if we take it further, in the Old Testament, in Numbers chapter 12, you remember there was, you know, a kind of a family confrontation, disagreement between Aaron, Miriam, and Moses. They were actually agitating against Moses that there was God speaking uh, through Moses and all of that and all of that. Why must he marry a cushioned woman? I want to also use this privilege, uh, this opportunity to please ask people, sometimes stay away from your neighbor's marriage or your wife's marriage or your brother's and sister's marriage. It can destroy family. Now, that's not my point this morning, but look at what I'm saying. When God heard him, heard them discussing, in verse 5 and 6, he summoned them. Then in precisely in verse 6, God said, if there is a prophet among you, God speaks to him through dreams and visions. But with Moses, it is not so. I speak to him directly. That means, that goes to answer one of your questions. God speaking directly. God speaks to people directly. Now, in Genesis 15, the same thing goes. Bible said that God came to Abraham and started speaking to him. I am your exceeding great reward. From verse 1 to 16. I'm just trying to paraphrase them. Now, then when it comes to vision and prophecy, yeah. or vision and trance, they are interrelated. In dreams, you sleep. But in vision, your eyes are open or semi-open. I will explain that word. For instance, somebody could just, like, you just close your eyes. You are just sitting there, probably meditating. And either you are brooding or you are, you know, as you are just thinking. I don't want to use a language that people may not understand. Let me use a simple one. As you are just thinking, you know, you have this other side of religion that says they, they project. And the next thing, they travel spiritually. Yeah. They travel spiritually. You are in the spiritual world. You are seen physically. Maybe as time progresses, I will explain more. You just begin to see. You are not sleeping. This one, you could be. Maybe you just doze off in two, three minutes or one minute. At, at other time, depending on your level of spiritual development, you will not sleep at all. You are just seeing picture. I'm sure when somebody said them, uh, we're talking. Yes. We won't argue. He said, God just dropped. Like, excuse me. Yes. He said, God just dropped. And we're arguing about what's not, you know, related to the yes, Bible. That's true. So I was like, yes. which kind of way? But I said, no, God just said this. Yes. I was like, in what form? Yes. So uh, what is that? So, um, what is this look? Say God speaks. In what form does as I don't know, does it tap like somebody said when someone said God tapped him, I was like, ah, ah what's up? <laughs> so in what form does God speak through trance and visions? Is it that if he posts your physical activity to show you pictures or he calls how, how, how does God reveal himself via visions and then um, trances? Okay. Thank you very much. You see, God is not the author of confusion. Okay. He said, he that created the ears, will he not hear? He that uh, created the eyes, will he not see? Oh. Now he has given you eyes to see. We have physical eyes, we have spiritual eyes mm. to see things. 
If God wants to speak to you, depends on your level with God or your relationship with God. Sometimes we are too busy to listen to God. Exactly. We are too busy to notice that God is speaking to us. For, in, for instance, you are in, you know, in a dream now. You are sleeping. You are unconscious. And God begins to show you things you know, that will happen. Especially you as a pastor. You have people you are praying for. You have things you are, you know, asking of God to do for your the congregation, the nation, the people, and things like that. So God can give you, you know, a dream concerning what will happen in future or in the present now. You know, a situation that that is so critical, and God gives you a dream and gives you a, a answer to what is going on. And when you wake up, you say, I, I dreamt of this thing, you know, and you see it coming to pass physically. So God used dreams to control, you know, bring the spiritual things to the physical. When we say out of the multitude of business comes a dream, now sometimes we go around, play, and all sorts of things, discuss, and... When we come to the night watch and when you are sleeping, that dreams will occur. And you see yourself still playing with so, so many people, talking to them and things like that. That is another dream. But this one that God used to speak to his people, he speak to people through dreams. For instance, a, 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 this is an evangelist now. She said an evangelist, then the husband is not a pastor, but they are living together. Then one day, the little boy was sleeping. And when the boy woke up, he told the mother, I had a dream. The mother said, a dream? This afternoon, what happened? He said, mommy, he said, somebody came into the house and wants to bless you. Oh. And the person carried the, the package now. He see an ugly being stood and said, no, uh, the husband had not paid the diary. And so they are living in sin. So this blessing cannot come to them. To, to them. And the mother, you know, closed the boy's mouth as in, nobody can reveal this secret to this little boy except God. Now there is a problem in the family that has been going on. They have been going through pain, through tribulation. But not knowing that that has been the hindrance. That has been the major problem. They have prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. And when he said, just hold on, when your daddy comes back, you we'll all sit down, you we'll tell your father the dream. And now when the father came back and he said, ah, your son said he had a dream and that narrated it. Do you know that that is what prompted the man to go and pay the diary immediately? That little boy could not have imagined that. Dream is not imagination. No. It's God himself that revealed things to you that is happening around you, or around the church, around the nation, around the society, and by the time you apply what the, the solution God has given to you to come to pass. Now, come to vision. Vision is like, you You can just um, be praying and God showed you something. It's not that you are, it, it, it's, it's trying to pulse you, but you just drew your attention to something. And that is where the prophecy comes in. I saw this. I saw this. I saw you being lifted. I saw you being blessed. But some people can just say it merely, not seeing the vision, because yes. it's part of, I, I saw that pastor saying it, and so let me declare that way, without seeing the vision, you know, that God is really showing them. Now, I come to trance, I can be sitting down here and just meditating on the word of God, and God takes me into another room. I begin to see picture or see something else. But when I pay attention to it, I see that God is speaking to me and God is showing me that which no man can show it to me except God. With your spiritual mind. He can talk to you through your own mind. A small still voice. Talk to you through mind. Now, if, it, uh, if I've seen uh, dreams that come to pass, yes, if I have a dream now, it comes to pass because that is the major way God speaks to me. And it can talk to my inner mind. It can talk to me through visions, through trance. Any way he wants to. Okay. 
draw your attention, he wants to talk to you, he's your maker and you are the, the clay in his hand. So anyhow he wants to give you direction, give you, you know, uh, assignment, he does that willingly. Okay, uh, Pastor Solomon, you know, they say the spiritual controls mm -hmm. the physical. When one is asleep, you know, he or she sees things, you know, either positive or mm -hmm. negative. negative. You know, at times they tell you, you know, this person, okay, I dreamt of this yesterday, and now I can't remember. Yes. You know, then I saw vision yesterday. Today, I can't remember to tell the person. As well as prophecies. You know, when you say someone, you know, you prophesy into someone's life. And most of the time, this prophecy doesn't come to pass. So in all of this, how does this work? Thank you. Um, first and foremost, dreaming and not remembering. Like you said, I would start from Ephesians chapter 1. Blessed be the Lord God of our Lord, our Lord, our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Where? In the heavenly places. Now, all believers, every human being actually is blessed. Why do I say so? In Genesis 1 28, when he created man, no man is created a failure. Every man, what are Muslim every, Christian, every Regardless boy. of your belief, mm -hmm. but there are principles that activates those blessings. Praise the Lord. However, if you are not spiritually dynamic, or you are not spiritually strong, or you are not strong in the spiritual realm, you'll be disconnected. You'll be denied. Now, I'll come to this. For instance, uh, you talk about forgetting of dreams and visions and all of that. Now, let me take you to first. In Daniel chapter 2. Remember the man called Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. Mm -hmm. He couldn't remember the dream, neither the interpretation. What happened? Dreams can be in Ephesians chapter 6. He said we wrestle not against flesh and uh, blood. Against principalities, principalities powers, powers of rulers darkness. of darkness. Okay. Auntie, if you are my brother. This war in 2 Corinthians, he said the God of this world have blinded their mind. Mm -hmm. A man's mind can be clotted not to remember clear vision. Especially if that vision or dream has the capability of transforming life. the life of that individual. Especially if for instance he dreams about somebody and that person is going through a major spiritual battle mm -hmm. and this person will be a solution to that individual. The enemy will attack. First to ensure that this person does not, or he will disjoint the dream. That means he will scatter it. That the person will not be able to coordinate. Now, bring the back to that dad there. The man said, I had a dream. I can't remember. And I can't even interpret the dream. They brought all the magicians. That's why power rests with God and children of God. It's so unfortunate that the church of today, the be, like my sister said, the believers of today have no time for self-development. We are just doing jamboree in the church. Permit me to say this. Yes, sir. It's a jamboree. Because solutions, like in Nigeria today, solution of this nation rests in the hands of the Christians. I, I make no apology in saying that. Now, all the magicians gathered. And they were looking for a solution. They went to bring in Daniel. What did Daniel do? Daniel went to God. God, tell me the dream of the book Agnizer and give me the interpretation. He had a team of prayer. Thank you, sir. He had a team of prayer people. And they gathered, three of them, a four of them, and they prayed. And Bible said in verse 19, God revealed the dream. And in verse 22, he said, he is the one that revealed times and Seasons. Permit me because I, when I'm talking, I like to look at my audience face clearly. Yes, That's my nature. Mm -hmm. Now, so Daniel interpreted that dream. I know the funniest thing, if you go to read from the 26 down to the end, I mean from the 19 to the end, you discover that the dream came to pass in exactitude as we Daniel saw it. And that is one. In 
Genesis chapter 41 again. Pharaoh had a dream. It was about a national economic issue. It was national economic issue. How was it? God showed Pharaoh seven drag a fat corn, another seven drag corn, and seven fat cow, another seven drag cow, cow, and lean and gaunt according to the scripture. And that was when Pharaoh woke up, it troubled him. Dreams can cause trouble. Mm -hmm. Dreams can also inspire, and dreams can cause trouble. And all the magicians gathered again, and Joseph was brought on board. As a matter of fact, that was what elevated Joseph. Joseph. And at the end of the day, the Bible said, Joseph interpreted and said, God has determined. You see that? Dreams are way back with God determined issues. And he looked for a man, he reveals it to them, and the person has said to him, if the man is not intelligent or wise enough, the devil will steal it. Mm -hmm. And the devil can mess it up. So that's why when you hear people say, I forgot my dream, the person should go back. They say blanket, say spiritual blanket covering. That's why up to this moment, there is a veil that covers their mind. When people's mind are covered, they can't understand their dreams when they wake up. But sometimes, like somebody said, Let sorry, before no. you, okay. Dream that God is a covering of the veil. Like someone yeah. said, when he dreams, yeah. he remembers some. Yes. And forgets those some. those those dreadful ones, those ones that would make him scream. Yes. But like, I'm not the you know, interpreter. So how can how can I marry both forgetting some and remembering others? Okay. Now let me add a little to that. When like when the book of forgot his dream. Oh. He didn't intend to forget it. Oh. He didn't intend. Nobody intends to forget a, a, a lecture he has received in an exam hall. A lecture indeed. Yes. No, it's a lecture. Yes. It's a lecture hall. See, I talked about that in my book. I wrote that dreams is a school of his own. It's a spiritual school. Now, why people forget dream part? I, I, I earlier explained that. It can be disjointed, it can be broken. The devil can scatter it. Or too much activity can make you scatter it. That's why, for me now, there are two ways God speaks to me more. One, when I'm in the bedroom or in the communities. That's why I can run out of my bath to quickly write instructions down. Because God doesn't care where you are when he's giving you instructions. He doesn't. Most of my books are creations of audible voices when I'm in my comments. Yes, I can oh. come and make it. Two. Oh my, write it down. Secondly, I am always with pieces of paper and bio. You don't see me without paper and bio. Oh. Right. As soon place. as I go, yes, as soon as I wake up, the first thing if I start praying, what makes people to forget most of their dreams is because sometimes they have a dream, they wake up, they start meditating. They start other things before they remember and start. No, immediately because you are just coming out from a class. Look at what the Bible said. God is not an author of confusion, like my sister said. In Habakkuk, he said, Write the vision down, and make, it plain. make it plain so that you can read it later. It may not make meaning to you at the time you are writing it. When you come to take it up again and look at it, it begins to join together. I know what God can speak to you in bits today, maybe next week, maybe next month. And when they are able to put the pieces together, it will make a hope. Okay, okay, now, um, uh, Pastor Solomon, yes. <laughs> thank you so much. Now, let me quickly go to uh, Pastor Mrs. Luke okay. and Igbe. Thank you. Now, vision. Let's, let's try as much as possible to extract vision from trance, prophecies, and dreams. Yes. You know, when you say vision, an individual, you know, saw a vision, he tell you this person is a visionary according to how it is. So, how does an individual sees his or herself as a visionary, you know, coming out to tell the people, I saw a vision, and this vision is something you need to take? Seriously. Okay. You see, vision is not too far from dreams. They are all similar. Now, when you have a vision, a vision is 
you might not be sleeping having a vision. When you sleep, you know that unconscious state is dream. Now, vision now is maybe you are just relaxing and God gives you, it's just like a, a, a television like this, and the thing just flat and, you know, you see something going on, just like, you say, ah, what is this? And you begin to meditate on it, and God begin to tell you, begin to speak to you, and tell you the meaning of that vision. Now, that vision, when you write it down, or you tell the person, I saw a vision concerning you. And you might be going through, you know, some things, and when you relate it to what you are going through, you'll find out that that vision for you is accurate to what you are going through. And for instance, somebody can say, I vision that I am this, I'm going to be great, I'm going to be this. You work towards it, not just align that vision to that. Vision, you, 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 you meditate on it, you work on it, you try to bring everything together to make sure that vision do not die. For instance, you can, somebody can be in, in need or in a trouble and God gives you a vision concerning that person. You go to that person to say, ah, this is what I saw and this is the vision, the picture. It's like a picture that God gave me. And you knowing that, ah, I have been, you know, thinking of how to make, make this thing done and you just came up now with it. I remember vividly when I was in school, I attended church in Asaba, and God gave me a vision. I wasn't sleeping, I was reading my Bible, I was praying, and that is what I just saw. I saw our bishop, he was climbing, he was in the house, you know, it's a duplex, and he was climbing down from the staircase and giving instruction to pastors. And the vision just was I started meditating. What is this? What is this? What is this? I didn't understand. When I got to church in the morning, I I, I saw uh, Bishop. I greeted Shalom, sir. That is peace, Shalom, sir. And I said, sir. And I was shivering, saying it. I said, eh, Daddy, I saw. I wasn't sleeping, but I was reading my Bible. I was praying, and I saw, you know, it, like a flash. You were in a big house, but the staircase is inside in the parlor. You were coming down from the staircase and you were giving instruction to the pastors. He looked at me, he looked at uh, the pastor standing, he looked at the other pastor. He said, go back to the agent now. Tell the agent I'm interested in that house. Did you get it? There was confusion. The agent showed them a house, a duplex. And he said he was confused about it. And God giving me that vision, go and tell him that, was the confirmation. that that house, he, he, he know he should go for the so house. What, what can you somebody else to confirm yes. your, 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 your imagination? Yes. That was the, a clear vision. And he hold me at high esteem then. He would tell me, you are a great woman of God. Don't allow anybody to mess up your destiny, you know? And with fear and trembling, you just be shaking. I can a very mighty judge you now giving message to a bishop. You are privileged. So that was how he got the house. So any any time God showed me dream, vision, once I come out to say, ah, daddy, this is what I saw. They don't play with it because it comes to pass instantly. So do you know the privilege you have to be a visionary or have God showing you a vision? about somebody and it comes to pass immediately you are so you won't joke with it you have to position yourself to make sure that you god gives you more vision and that your vision will not be crowded your mind will not be crowded so that you have a clearer vision that is where the problem lies dreams trance vision if your mind is crowded with so many things i tell you you can't deliver you begin to miss up things. Can you go to sleep? You begin to miss up things. You know, the gift and the callings are of God, they are without repentance. Yeah. God can show you. That is his own, you know, no matter who you are. So that so, so people can fall out of grace and God still use them. Yeah. That is what they are saying. The mercy of God speak. The mercy of God speak. Sometimes it's God that blessed them. 
But because that gift is in them, and they just think they are still flowing in grace. So when you know that you, God speaks to you through dream, through this vision, you don't allow your mind to be crowded. When somebody is angry now, and to, uh, you go to sleep, or you want to read your Bible, do you know that it is that anger that will occupy your mind? Sure. You are reading your Bible. You won't even understand what you are reading anymore. When you open your Bible, you want to read, and God wants to talk to you because you are angry of somebody, and that what happens now begins to you know, occupy your mind. You close your Bible. What did that person do? What did that person do? You cannot even concentrate. Even when God is trying to show you things, you cannot get it. That is where so many people are missing it. Clear your mind. Allow the vision to come. And as you see the vision, God gives you the grace to interpret it. All right, thank you. Let me pull this there. I want to look at um, manipulation of dreams. You know, some of us, you know, we are in court. We seek information from them. I saw one shared with um, a pastor. Do I was I wasn't I was listening. And he said he feels manipulated when he's sleeping. You know, so some things happen that they cannot explain. I was wondering how can your dreams be manipulated? He says he sees some strange things in his dreams, and before you know it, he's lost something. But before he will not remember until he's lost that thing. That sometimes he'll be sleeping with his head to the wall. When he wakes up, he's either on the floor. But he, but he still dreams, still seeing things. And I was like, it could be probably you're high or something, or you're a deep sleeper. He says, no. He feels someone trying to either twist his vision. His... So how. Is that real? No, thank you. <laughs> now, we are products of yesterday. Yesterday? Yes. We are products of yesterday. Let me start by saying, one, dreams can be manipulated. But again, like I just said earlier when I was making my introduction, that dreams, is two ways. God can be speaking. The devil can be speaking. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. At the same time? Yes. Depending. I, must, I will explain it so that you don't get me confused. Or you don't get confused. For instance, people do not believe in the activities of the past. Let me explain this this way. I will use illustration. When a man sees himself, for instance, climbing staircase, very common in Nigeria, climbing staircase, probably or he's running in the dream room. He would just be running. Mm -hmm. But somehow, when he looks back, he has not left where he is. He or he's been, rather. Yes. It's like somebody's stagnant, but he's busy, sweating. And that person is like, okay, he's climbing up, almost approaching the, the peak. He sees himself down. The Lord is talking to that individual. Or the devil is talking to that individual. Look, you are owing me, boy. You are not living here. I will explain it this way. For instance, God, if the person is a serious Christian and is praying hard, the Lord will be telling him, look, that there is a covenant. Is, because some of the things that are responsible for this is, is causes, mm -hmm. covenants, dedications, wrong foundations. Wrong foundation. These are some of the things that actually manipulate dreams. God's dream is to... Okay, let me give you an example. Pharaoh, I'm uh, sorry, Abimelech took Abraham's wife. God appeared to him in the dream. You are a dead man. Why? You are holding another man's wife. So, this will... For holding this man's wife, I will kill you. And God also knew that he did it innocently. Because, <laughs> yes, God knew he did it innocently. But the, the, husband, the husband of the wife told them, the, the wife, that tell people that you are my sister. 
so that I can be spared. Now, without the demonic, it was divine. But when you see yourself eating in the dream, I hear pastors say, when you keep on eating the dream, be glad. Mm -hmm. I've gone to a meeting. And see, that thing is destroying your spiritual life. I've gone to a meeting. We have to. It kills your prayer. It kills your, your, your spiritual we life. We have to speak. speak there are big names. Good. Today. In, I want. In, I, I, I wanted to contradict it for me. In in in, in today's in the ministry today in the old state, we had the two. The first one said, "When you eat the dream, run for safety. Seriously. Run to run to a, a senior one of God, a woman. Seriously, you get deliverance for me. You need deliverance, or you need spiritual warfare to extricate yourself. Yes, and then the next big name came and said, "No, <laughs> when you that when he dreams, he it is for the time when he dream. The following morning, tell the wife, give me five yam and push me.' Now let me explain, my sister. <laughs> you know what? Listen, the greatest confusion." In our body of Christ, you see, mm -hmm. the other part of our brothers and sisters on the other side, mm -hmm. they don't have the confusion we have. They are properly tutored. We have pastors that are not properly tutored. We have believers that are not tutored. We have believers that don't have time to spend with the world and with the Lord. Until anybody consistently eating in the dream, for instance, I had a major problem. Look at me on the on television. I wrote a book on deliverance, on freedom from witchcraft and bewitchment. That is serious bewitchment. Hmm. Sex in the dream, barrenness can be injected. Injected? Yes. Sicknesses can be injected. Hmm. Affliction can be injected. Big contracts can be lost. Promotion can be denied. So, I was always that. dreaming of seeing myself in my village. <laughs> and I, if I have one hour, two hours is not enough to discuss. Not enough. When I go into scriptures, as I begin to read scriptures, the best place you get solutions is not from men of God, from scriptures. Yes. From the presence of God, go to God in prayer. And I went to God, God told me, look at it. And biologically, maternally, and paternally, and I took up a spiritual warfare. I started dealing with them. Auntie, for 38 years, I made both to say it, I couldn't have 1,000 naira. Hey, pardon? 38, 38 years, I had no 1,000 naira as a personal income. 38 years, 38 not 38 years. more, 38 days. <laughs> that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 38 years. You remember that young, that man that was at the pool of Bethesda? Uh, yes, yes, yes. For 38 years, yes. stagnant. Dreams can stagnate a man's life. But, 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 but we'll pause with Ma it because very well because I, 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 I I've not even gone to prophecy. We of course, even got to of trials. course. Next week, to <laughs> every Thursday, we'll be back here with this same because it seems there is more to this yes. than what we're saying. Listen, there is more. Dreams controls life. At the day, yes, dreams controls life. Yes, okay. I will we'll pause with there because our priest says there's no time. Okay, Friday. Okay, um, uh, Pastor Mrs. Uh, Luke Alibi. One last word from you, though it's not a last word for the program. <laughs> yes, yes, it's very last word, but for the program, yes. what I have to say is that people need to stay in the presence of the Almighty God. He is our Creator that created us from our mother's womb. He has a plan and purpose for us coming to this earth. But there must there must be delay, challenges, and all of that. But what I tell people, when you come back to the dream, but say, come unto me, all you that labor heavy laden, and I will give you rest. For God to really give you rest that you seek in all your endeavors, go back to him. Embrace his word. Give me to fasting and prayer. Exactly. And tell God, I cannot remain this way. The reason why I was created manifested to lamb life, and he will sure do. In the mighty name of Jesus. But don't allow your, your mind to be crowded with so many activities with paid bodies and all. Anchor, Free yourself from anger, from unforgiveness, forgiveness. and allow God to, to you know, uh, give you his perfect plan and his perfect will. Jesus right. Christ was so confused. He said, not my will, but your will be done. So let the will of God be done in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Just in well, line. Um, I want to say, whether dreams, visions, prophecies, or whatever, the Bible said in 
the book of Revelation chapter, I think I will quickly read this one, 1910. It said, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Anybody that prophesies to you that does not tally with the word of God and that contradicts the spirit of God is not giving you good prophecy. Cancel. It's deceiving you. All right, thank okay. you very much. We need to talk more about things uh, next time. Uh, sure. Uh, what's specialized today to dreams, prophecy, vision, trunks. We'll talk more about things. Thank you so much for coming to the program this morning. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, those who watched. Thank you very much. We really appreciate your time on the show today. To our camera man, Bright Osak, Mama Osifo. Thank you. Thank you to our PD, our dexterous uh, sound manager, PD, audio, Odin. We thank you. Thank you to engineers on duty. We are really appreciated. To our guest, uh, Pondit, thank you for coming. So, uh, remember, this is a new month. Uh, keep praying. Keep, be hopeful. September, the sweet of remember. My name is Vivier Oko, here this week.